Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, I know it's been a bit since I posted and I know you guys have been looking for a lot of like please donate videos and we do have another video coming out on that so feel free to watch that one that comes out very soon here. But today in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about this merch booth. Now, this is actually a new developer module that was created by Roblox. And it basically lets you sell all of your avatar assets, game passes, and developer products, but within your game, basically. And um, it's it's basically a, um, a pre-made GUI, and it's super easy to use. And I thought I would bring this to you guys because a lot of people out there are UGC creators and um, some just want to make these things that are super simple in your game. And I really do believe like this would be best for you because this is a cool way of selling um, assets in your game. So um, we're going to get straight into this. But before we hop into this, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um, we are almost at 21,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, I know we haven't been exponentially growing, but we are still going up, which makes me really happy. Um, and also, join the Discord. It is in the description, and we will be doing a giveaway very soon here. Now, um, so to get started, we are going to head over to the new documentation made by Roblox. Now, this was actually just made a bit ago, but um, I'm very happy that Roblox has this out. Um, and we're going to be basically talking about this. Now, to get this, you're going to just either go to the description and grab the link, um, and it should bring you to this actually right here, which I'll talk about, or you can go into my inventory, whatever works. It should bring you to this, and you're good to uh, hit Try and Studio, download any of that, and we're going to basically load this in. Now, um, we're just going to go over this. So, basically, how this works is you'll be able to um, purchase an item like this, and you will sell anything you want, and it's going to look really nice. So, um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, put it into Service Group Service, start a game, and we're gonna do a lot of stuff now there are a lot of configurations here like I said so I'd really recommend checking out this documentation because it will help you out on how to configure it um, I will help you guys in this video um, a bit on adding assets and if you want to make it a GUI or if you want to make it a um, walkthrough but as you can tell this script helps you out so much and is super easy to use so basically now that we have that, um, you should already have this, by the way. Um, you're going to go into your toolbox and go to your inventory. And as, of course, oh, wow, it was on Marketplace right there. Oh, wait, was it? I don't know where it was. So, Merch Booth. Now, this is uh, marked as high quality item, which is nice. So, you're going to just do this, and you see already. So, um, oh, here, we already have this right here. Now, it has an install and a README. So, um, you can really do anything all you want. I'm pretty sure it said if you just bring it into server script service, it will move it for you. So we're just going to click uh, play right here. Oh, I guess there's a material manager now. Um, I need to check that out. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool stuff that Roblox has been uh, bringing out and I can't wait to use them. But so as you can tell, this is basically a pre-made UI that is already ready for you. So if you literally just want to have this in here, it's already going to have a shop for you. Now, we're going to learn how to add assets, in assets into it. So let's quickly do that. Now, um, basically, we hit stop. All right, here we go. So it actually did do it itself. That's very nice. All right. So um, I don't think there's anything in server storage, if I'm right. So we have starter player. Let's see here. Sound servers, text chat. No, we don't. All right. Okay. So it already does that for you if you put it in there. So... Okay, so this is going to be a replicate storage, and there's going to be a lot of stuff to it. Um, so, merch boot, merch boot service, this is basically um, checking here. We're going to worry about that. Um, all right, so I think if I'm right, merch boot client. Yeah, so these are where the assets load. Um, sorry, guys, we're actually going to go into here. So, uh, assets, that we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let me actually go to the documentation myself, because I don't even know how to do it. So, um let's hear so avatar adding out so so um create a script with ser within server script and paste in the following code all right so we are going to do this so of course this is already in here so we are going to hit this we're going to go right here and we're going to paste this all in so we have local items now this is going to be where we put in our stuff so we are actually going to go to the catalog and we are going to grab a few things now as you can tell this is um basically what we're looking for right here now uh, merch booth replicate storage all that stuff so you know what i'm gonna do actually out of the way guys um i'm going to uh put this in server script service i'm going to put this in replicated storage so we're gonna move this um into replicated storage right here uh thumbnail camera we don't need to worry about that starter player and we go starter player scripts we're gonna go here starter player scripts 
and we don't need to worry about this um install let's see here uh i think we should keep that if i'm right um we'll just put that right there for now i guess i guess that should work uh we'll see what happens <laughs> so um in the script right here we are going to get a uh, item so i'm just gonna grab a few items you know just for fun so right here as you can tell i'm grabbing a few items and you see this nine number right here it didn't load in but this nine number is what we'll be copying so i'm going to copy that and we are going to paste them right here so this is a table now if you don't know what a table is i actually talked about this in my last few videos i think it was about the um learning about tables the table basically holds information that you can um use later on within your script so we're basically going to put the assets in here um you will need to uh if I'm right, you will just basically do this. Now, I think game passes are the same. I'm looking at the thing right now. Um, marketplace. I think game passes are the exact same. So if you want to add in a game pass too, just keep doing that and do the nine number pretty easy. So um, now uh, you can also do, it says you can do uh, developer products as well. So if you want to do that, feel free to do that. So um there is a catalog button, and if you want to do a separate one, you can make your own catalog button by going to the screen UI and fixing that. Um, now, shoppable region is what I kind of wanted to do. So if you were to make a shop, by the way, um, you could search up shop in the workspace, and uh, let's say, okay, this is really cool. I like this. Oh, this has a, okay, it has a script in it, but we'll just, you know, we'll put this right here. This is funny. Um, I'm actually going to search up script real quick. I want to see what that was. Oh yeah, see this right here? That was just a play sound. Okay, that's okay. We can just delete it though. We don't need it. Um, so as you can tell, create a shopper rhythm. We're gonna create a part um, just like this. And we are going to um, go right here. And I guess what we can do is we can go right here and we will make the transparency set to one. And we will um, name this uh, shop region. Oh, it's the tag editor plugin. There's a tag. Oh, that's really cool. I never thought they had tags in here. Oh, yeah, it's attribute. We don't need to worry about that. All right, so we are going to uh, basically, let's see right here. So can collide, um, disable parts, can carry. Oh, wow, what is that? Okay, can collide. Oh, yeah, and can carry. Do you, so that I should not fix it. And raycast, should not detect it. All right. Oh, this is really cool. So this is a nice how they do it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to server script. I mean, starter player scripts, go to locals. And we are going to pop this in right here. So this is really nice. Um, perfect. All right. So collection service. Yeah, that's really cool. I actually never knew you could do that. Get tag shop region. Um, we are just going to go and do this instead. I don't know. I've never used um, shop region. I mean, uh, tag editor. That's really cool. Um, so... <laughs> That is honestly so cool. That is like Unity. Um, just we'll talk about that later. For now, let's just do this. We'll just go uh, uh, game dot workspace dot shop region. Okay. So now what we can do is basically go into here, hit play, and when we walk into it, it should just pop it up. But um, let's see here. Install. Okay. I, was, I hope that's not a problem. Probably might be a problem. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. <laughs> So, um, I don't know if I should have touched that. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, let's just, you know what? Let's do this real quick. I wonder why I did that. I guess you're not supposed to touch it, you guys. Um, I am learning step by step. Okay, let's keep that there. I'll go back to toolbox. Um, I guess I'm stupid, so don't, 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 don't do what I did. Um, we're going to grab this, put it in the server script. We're good right there. Okay, let's hit play. And I should, I should have added uh, asset IDs to it. Um, so now let's load in or it's not gonna work okay what is going on all right give me one second let me figure this out all right so i got it to work sorry guys that took me a second so um as you can tell you go right here and you can click it right here has this really nice ui um you get try on it will show you it when you actually have the item on which is super nice um and it says not for sale i guess this might just be because we're in studio i don't know why that's that reason but um then of course right here same exact thing you click it try on you can see what they look like it's super nice so um what i did sorry to fix that 
So you do keep everything in server script service. So you need that to be in merch booth and server script service. And then when you want to customize it, do whatever you want, you basically be putting that in there. So I actually did have to download the tag editor. Um, and what I did was I just went right here, add a tag, um, put the shop region on, make sure to put it to true. And then um, I basically just used that same code that was put in that um, document right here. And I basically made it so I can uh, detect when I run into it. Now, like I said, this is to add items, everything like that. So it's really nice. Um, now, you can do a lot of things, guys. Like you can add proximity prompts. Um, you can change the equip effects of everything. Uh, GUI vis visibility. Literally so many things that you can do with this. Um, it's really nice. Now, I won't really show you uh, how to do much anymore. But I just wanted to give you an example of what you can do. Now, I really recommend checking out the Google the documents in the description because it will help you out um, I am doing a video on the avatar editor very soon here um, well avatar outfit loader game video sorry um, basically loading all the avatars out and outfits and you're able to click them and purchase it and everything like that this is kind of like an example of that but um, it's really nice so you can do a lot of things with this I think you can really get really customizable and really work on it documentation has everything on it I hope this was just a brief description for you but um yeah I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you very much.